What's up, guys? This is Coach Grant with First Down Training, and today we're going to be breaking down Jerry Rice and some of his route running ability. We're going to look at some of this old school one on one drill tape here. And, um, guys, if you're a receiver and you want me to take a look at your route running, check out that link in the description that says Film Breakdown. You can submit your film to me, and I'll break it down just like how I'm breaking down some of the professionals and some of the best to ever do it. So let's get started. So the first route we're going to cover here is this kind of slant out concept. Okay, so this slant out right here. Main thing is I want you to see how fast he has this speed on the slant and how fast he gets in and out of this break okay so let's watch it full speed so he's coming off here the main thing i want to see today about jerry rice is just his pad level and just his acceleration on everything that he does okay so he's coming off here three step slant right one two three everything about this is looking like a slant hard cut right here shoots his eyes to the inside commits his shoulders to the inside all we're trying to do is get a reaction out of this db right here and him to come up a little bit so you see eyes to the inside commits his shoulders now when he breaks out on this out i want you to see he's out in and out in three steps, right? But I want you to see that here's no lean back by his pad level, okay? And we're going to see that a lot today. What I see a lot of younger receivers do is when they get up to a break, they start to bring their chest back here. They start to lean back and they slow down. I want to be able to go straight forward and I want to be able to use my hips and my feet being powerful to change direction on me, okay? So you see how he's here? One, two, three. Three. Now, that that's the position that we want to get in every time on the top of the route. We get him sitting slant, right? He's thinking, okay, I'll give up the slant. Fine, I'm going to get a five-yard gain. But we want to get a 10-yard gain, right? So I got to be able to shoot in and out of this break as fast as possible. And dropping my hips like this, bringing my chin to my knee is how I'm going to do that. They call it snapping down. This first step is your trigger step. That's what gets you into this explosive position, right? Because the low man wins. So you see this DB's real tall. Jerry Rice is in a low explosive position. Now when he drops here, that second and third step are just as important as that trigger step because that's got to get your hips turned to the angle of the break. In this case, it's a 90-degree angle break. And I got to be able to drive off of there, right? So he snaps down pivots with the second step and then that third step serves as almost like a speed cut i want it to drive me out you see his hips are already opened up to the break all he has to do is just run and pump those arms now to accelerate out of this break you got to make sure that i'm pumping my arms and i'm running out of this thing and you see that's exactly what he's doing it's like he's running a 40 to the sideline and you see it makes this db fall probably a little bit of a slip here but still able to get a lot of separation because we're in and out of this thing in two steps pump those arms fast it's a great job getting in and out of this break let's watch it full speed one more time so coming off here one two three one two three in and out of this break three steps accelerate off give it some drive okay so now we're going to be taking a look at this route here getting off a press and he's going to be running this corner post so he's coming off here so one two three get that db inside break one two three to the corner sudden stick back to the post okay so this is a great job here using his pad level and using his feet to get open so now off the line of scrimmage here right DB, I'm already going to say it straight off, a little bit narrow with the stance, okay, so it's going to be tough to react, right? I know this page isn't a focus on DBs, but um, that definitely plays a factor here. But when it comes to this release right now, he's going to be trying to take, what is this? He wants to take an outside release, right? So if he wants to take an outside release here, I'm pretty sure... Let me see where the ball is at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's on the outside here. So he wants to take an outside release. So main thing about it is, is when he comes off the line of scrimmage, is that he wants to get this DB leaning to the inside. So he's got to take a step with his right leg first because he's working a triple move. So he's going to work a right left and then back to the right again now here's the thing that sets that up maybe one time jerry rice comes off this thing and he just hits him with he goes right and then back to the left db holds outside and then he takes the inside release and runs a slant takes the inside release from the dig whatever it may be right so now i come back with this third step so now i go right left right and my upper half is selling this thing to the inside now the db over commits because he doesn't want to get beat to the inside again especially in man coverage right guys i don't want to chase him across the field i don't want to be chasing him 50 yards across this thing that's an easy completion for the quarterback easy gain for the offense so i got to make sure that i hold my ground on the inside here but you see what he does he gives violent with his upper half gets him to lean and now he's accelerating off so much explosion off the line here because you see of how much he pushes off of this plant leg when he cuts here he drives and now he's pumping those arms here now when he gets up to this depth he breaks three steps to the corner here now i want you to see commits his shoulders and commits his hips now not so much with his eyes because this DB's in man, right? So if he's in man, he's really just watching these hips, watching that shoulder. The eyes don't play a big factor. In zone, when the DB's bailing off, my eyes are a big factor because I want him to feel this post or this corner, this first move of a double move as much as possible, right? 
So now the whole goal is just to get him to overcommit. So three hard steps to the corner, sudden stick, and now in this position, this is where he's very dangerous because he's got a great acceleration after the cut. He pumps his arms, accelerates off this thing, and continues to gain separation. We get him to try to undercut this route. We get this DB to be greedy. I pump my arms, and I continue to get space. That's a great route by Jerry Rice. Okay, let's watch it full speed one more time here off the line of scrimmage. So once so, left, right, left. Take the outside release, break to the corner, hard three steps, commit your shoulders, commit your hips, and then sudden stick back to the post, pump those arms, accelerate off the break. So he's coming out here, one, two, three, breaks up to the inside, break, one, two, three. Get him to lean outside just smooth. Everything he does is just so smooth. Okay, so now we're going to look at this kind of post out here, but it's a little bit deeper of a post out than what we're used to be seeing, okay? So... He takes this thing for five steps now. So when he makes this break, I want you to see from point A here to point B, which is that post break, and then point C is the outbreak. I want you to see how fast he comes off this line of scrimmage and how he, he hasn't changed up his speed yet, right? There's a famous clip of him talking about changing up speeds on routes with, um, I believe it's Deshaun Jackson, and they're just talking about just scheme and just the mindset of playing receiver. But, um, in this situation here, we want this DB to feel my speed, right? I want him to be bailing. I want him to be dropping as fast as possible. I want him to get no shit mode, trying to not get beat over the top, right? So I got to close the distance with him. I got to pump my arms and close this gap, right? So he's coming off here fast, and you look at his eyes. Eyes are straight forward, looking over this inside shoulder. Now, when he makes this break to the post, there's no loss in speed, right? I'm a very, it's, it, this is a very threatened position for this DB because of how much speed he has coming off of this post break. When people make a break right here and they make this post break you see like here and they just pop their chest up and they slow down and they lean back that's so much reaction time for this db and you're not being a threat right he's he, he could just jog and play with you right so i gotta make sure i got speed coming in and speed coming out of the break now how do i change direction with that kind of speed it comes to your hips like we were talking about in the very first clip so he takes this thing out for five steps one two three four five and now you see the position the db's in completely turned his hips we got a lot of room to work with I just got to make sure that I don't take too many steps at the top of the route to allow him to speed turn out of there. And I got to make sure that I change direction and can explode out of this break, right? So he uses that trigger step, right? So now look at his hips. He's running full speed, but right in stride, running full speed, but his hips is what slows him down. It gets into an explosive position. Second step pivots, third step drives, and look where he's at. Snapping that head back around. DB, like I said, is speed turning. So that's why getting the right amount of steps and creating some explosion at the top of the route is important. So now he can pump his arms and accelerate and continue to get some space from this DB. Great route here by Jerry Rice. Let's watch it full speed one more time. So again, close the gap. Fast in, fast out of the break. Use your hips to change direction. Let's watch it full speed one more time. So coming off here, breaks, one, two, three, four, five, in and out of this thing, three steps. That's such a hard thing to do, but if you guys can get that down, you're going to see a lot of separation that you guys can get. Okay, so now... And this route is going to be running a comeback here with a little bit of a peek back technique. And again, I want to talk about how fast he's coming off this break and how fast he gets in and out of this route. So he's coming off here, peeks back for the ball, one, two, three. In and out of this thing. Now, see, the DB did not was not in a terrible position to make a play. He actually reacted pretty good on this thing. But we're going to talk about why just inches matter, guys, right? Especially at the level that these two guys are playing, right? He's guarding one of the best receivers in the world. So any separation and probably got a pretty damn good quarterback throwing to him. I don't know who it was, whether it was Montana or whoever. But getting the ball out quick is is so essential to these guys because they get so much space but the DB the, the the skill of the DB at this level is so well or so good I mean that when they're coming out of a break too they're fast man so we got to try to eliminate as much wasted motion as we can but imagine I know most of my audience is high school um high school college uh, football players, receivers, quarterbacks, receivers, imagine what we could do at the high school level, right? How much space we're going to get, right? And it's only going to help you improve. So again, now why is he peeking back for the ball right here? It's to get this DB to be in oh shit mode. I don't want to get beat over the top. I don't want to let this ball just drop right in the bucket and I get embarrassed over the top. They're afraid of getting beat over the top, right? They're afraid of speed. That's what we got to really drill home here. They're afraid of speed. They're afraid of getting beat over the top. So now what does he do? He snaps down again. How does he stop himself? when he goes full speed your hips and that goes for every single receiver you watch a guy like another great example is julio jones a guy that big should not move that well but how he changes direction is all in his hips his hips is what drops him right that first trigger step here now look at that second step pivots him 
third step drives and you see his hips are already turned his head's going to be shooting around and his arm pump the way he's pumping his arms is what gets him out of this break with a little bit of a hold comes back down to the ball great route here by jerry rice great job getting separation let's watch it full speed one more time so again, peeking back, one, two, three. Now you see that little one thing I forgot to mention. You see that little drift right here, one, two, three, and he kind of drifts upfield. He doesn't get 45 right now. That's because when he snapped down, you see he didn't get as low with his hips as he did before. If he gets a little bit lower and is a little bit more violent with this step, that drift doesn't happen, okay? I hope that makes sense, and I hope that helps you guys in terms of change of direction on your route. That's why he had that little bit of a drift. All right, guys, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it, guys. Please leave any questions in the comments i'll make sure to get back to you and um, also guys if you want me to take a look at your film check out that link in the description i'll see you guys next time